I have a friend who can help us. She knows the city really well. Go talk to Connie first. I'll send you the address to her pub. Don't worry, man. I got this. I scoped out a hospital nearby already. Go meet Connie. Last thing we need is drawing more attention to ourselves and getting the cops or Albion involved. All right, all right, ye of little faith. You know, there is a world of difference between you and me. I was born to rule people like you. And you think you can ruin my face? <laughs> so you want chaos, huh? Great. Because of you, I realized I wasn't thinking big picture enough. You know, keep the broker bridge. Go fuck yourself with it. Because someone like me can do better than a cheap trinket. Someone like me gets to eat up little shits like you! Ha! <laughs> <laughs> you said eat shit. But I'll get back to you, Tommy. Gotta get that stuff for Aiden first. Focus, wrench. Love the whole quaint little pub thing you've got going on here. Creepy mask, spikes everywhere. Yeah, Jackson told me you'd be coming. Hi. So, word is you know a good place to get medical supplies on the down low. Clan Kelly's got loads of stuff that are moving through the underworld. How do you feel about robbing from the robbers? Sounds like a sexy good time. Where can I find these black market stashes? I'll send a couple of locations to your optic. You're doing this to help Aiden, yeah? Make sure that stubborn fool stays breathing. Hey, listen. I propose giving him mouth to mouth, but, you know, with the mask and the spikes, it's kind of chafy, so. Get moving! Let's see how tough these Clan Kelly fucksticks want to play. The point here is to get the monitor, not get into a fight. And if one of them gets up in my face, you want me to go, Oh, please, big bad gangster, may I have a vital science monitor? 
You gotta get your hands dirty sometimes, kid. Uncle Aiden's a prime example of that. Uncle Aiden also routinely gets shut up and just recently almost died and is now in a coma. And your point is... Monitor. And with minimal chaos, just like you asked. Are you proud of me? Uh, if you say so. I knew I'd win you over. No one can stay mad at this handsome mug. Okay, I'm here. Dun, dun, dun! 
vigilante known as the Fox surveyed the clearing through steely eyes, looking at all the bad guys he was gonna kapow. Are you trying to roleplay as Aiden? Dude. Just trying to think, what would Aiden do? I mean, he could steamroll through this whole gang, no sweat. Yeah, because that's so cool. Is sarcasm any way to speak about your elders? You and everyone put Aiden on a pedestal. He's either the coolest vigilante or he's the worst villain. It's weird. Because he's also my uncle that, frankly, kept putting me in danger and then just stopped showing up. Oh, okay. Look, they even packed it up nicely for me. You'd have to search through it quickly. Clan Kelly doesn't leave product unsupervised for long. Ooh, I've got a better idea. Instead of picking and choosing some drugs, I'll just take all the drugs. How? Oh. And please don't say up your nose. That sounds fun, but I'm working it, man. I'm gonna call my buddy little droid friend and fly the whole thing out of here. Sending you the coordinates to a drop-off point so you can get the supplies to me. Looking for at least a 20% tip. Well done. I'll make sure Jackson gets what he needs. As for the rest, well, the resistance will find a use for it. Cheers, Wrench. Jackson, your shopping list is on its way. That'll help me keep Aiden breathing. But I don't know what to do about the coma. What if I swing by that big hospital? I can dig through their database and see if they have any information on treating coma patients. That's actually a really good idea. You gotta keep it quiet, though. We were avoiding the hospital because of Rempart. Don't worry, your Uncle Wrench can be so, so sneaky. Oh, 
London's running on a fancy upgrade. Are you gonna have a problem accessing the hospital's database? <laughs> please. CTOS may have gotten a facelift, but that does not mean she's better than me. Long-term patient ward. Shit, are all the doctors on break? Physician, wouldst thou neglect the poor souls in thy care? Come on, Doc. People are slowly dying over here. <laughs> yes, imbue me with all of your knowledge. Sending you the coma protocols. Leave it to your Uncle Wrench. Thanks. You keep trying, but I am not calling you Uncle Wrench. Oh, come on! Got it. So, what's the verdict? Did that doctor's info help? There's nothing on how to actually revive someone from a coma. So I'm just stuck waiting for when, or if he wakes up. Don't worry, he's Aiden fucking Pierce. He'll wake up again. That's easy for you to say. But what if he doesn't? What the hell do we do then? You can stay here for as long as you need. I'm gonna go blow up the other half of Rampart's face. Are you kidding? Aiden's in a coma right now, and you're thinking about revenge. Uh, yeah. Or do you not remember the crazy robot man who wants us all dead? Do you not remember that you're the reason why Rampart went after Aiden in the first place? And why Aiden is in a coma right now? Wow. Hurtful. I need to keep looking for ways to help him. With you or not. All right. All right. Fine. Ah, shit. It's Aiden's phone again. All right, asshole. 
I've tracked your location. This is your final warning. Blah, blah, blah. Bottom line. Let Aiden Pierce go, or I'm gonna send a bunch of people your way to cut you into tiny little pieces and deliver them to me gift wrap. Capiche? Jesus, dude! Listen, I'm, I'm not holding Aiden hostage. I'm helping. Jackson, back me up. What the fuck? You're with Jackson. I thought you were one of Rempart's hired mooks. Hold on, hold on. You got a private channel or something? I gotta get off this burner. One sec.